afternoon everyone, this is Defensive Rolls, and I am going to start a new game. I've already got a I've already got a Lady Hawk rogue almost at the end of Act 1, and I would like to continue her. I definitely will in my own free time, but I figure it may be better for the purposes of YouTube to start from the beginning with a new character. That way I can talk about leveling and builds and all that jazz. Um, as I may have mentioned in a previous, in my only previous video, actually, um, I usually play on a custom difficulty level, which is harder than Nightmare, but without the friendly fire. But for the purposes of just expediting this fake story that starts at the beginning, I'm going to crank it down a little bit. Um, I already tried once, it takes me like 10 minutes to kill everybody because I don't get to choose my own build and I don't have my own items and oh god, it's it's very boring. So I'm going to decrease the difficulty level for this part and then I will increase it again once I regain control of my character in the prologue. So, let's bring it down to hard, I can usually deal with hard. Alright, let's do it. As you may begin to notice, I there are a lot of things that are a little bit different about my game than from vanilla. I, I play on the PC, and so I do make use of a good number of mods. I will I will post all the ones that I encounter in this part of my playthrough uh, in the in the description of this video when I finally upload it. So. In the thread of my previous character, I'm going to do a Lady Hawk and a Rogue. That is pretty ugly, I must say. And that effect reminds me of Harry Potter. Order of the Phoenix for the win. I've had gentler invitations. <clears throat> I am Cassandra Pentecost, seeker of the Chantry. <laughs> and just, uh, what are you seeking? The champion. Which one? You know exactly why I'm here. Time to start talking, dwarf. They tell me you're good at it. That sword doesn't look very sharp. <laughs> it's a dagger. What do you want to know? Everything. Start at the beginning. Trolling. Uh, this is also a mod. The Blight Lands will look a little different from vanilla. Maybe more red. Dark Spawn are also modded. And you'll notice that Bethany does not have gigantic tits anymore. We will have to fight them sooner or later. Then we make our stand here. Prepare yourself. She dresses like a warden, as Carver does in this fake story of Varric's. There we go. Alright, um... Give me a minute, I need to rearrange my abilities. Because I... am neurotic, and I like to play mostly with my keyboard, so... If things are not in the right place, I find myself mashing buttons and wondering why nothing is happening. What the fuck are you doing, man? Once 
one thing that I really miss about older RPGs by Bioware, uh, even Origins didn't have it, um, is the ability to queue actions. And granted, it wouldn't be particularly- oh shit, poor Bethany. Granted, it wouldn't be particularly useful because the combat is so fucking fast in Dragon Age 2, but... I mean... I remember in Neverwinter Nights 2, and yes, I know that is not a Bioware game, but also in Neverwinter Nights 1, I was able to queue multiple actions up for my PC and for my companions when I could control around. them. Alright, Rogue is usually, for me, sort of a bastard, so let's do it. We'll take the bastards down with us. Here they come. Shall I deal with them? Do it. All yours, sister. You know, I don't think Bethany actually looks that bad. That's her that's her stock face. Um but she does look a little bit older than 18, and I know she's supposed to be 18, so... Anyway, I don't remember what I was talking about before, I'm sorry. God, I've been so spoiled by my, uh, my other rogue character. This feels slow as shit. I always feel bad, even though I know none of us, neither Bethany nor I, can die in this scene. I always feel bad when I let them converge on Bethany, so I try to remedy that when I can. You know, Bethany is totally a sweetheart, but she... She doesn't have a really strong personality, and I, I don't know, I think maybe that's that was intentional, but Carver is definitely a much more compelling figure, even though he's totally an asshole, but, I mean, god, Carver, when I, when I talk to him, or when I hear him, hear him talk in game, I just, I see Gamlin in him so hard, and I'm sure that was intentional too, but... Not good. <laughs> hey, Ogre, you got a makeover. I don't know if this is gonna work in hard mode. Yep. Rush is not that helpful in um in my custom difficulty because he he just resists the shit out of any of my any of my attempts to knock down. Oh Bethany, I'm sorry. See, that happens a lot too. You know, if I obviously I cannot control Bethany in this pre-prologue or whatever, you can see that I only have one one person down here and that's me. But, uh... <clears throat> I've noticed that when I allow my companions to use tactics, they... I mean, obviously, they don't do it quite the way I want. So... I've gotten in the habit of not using tactics at all except to uh, activate sustained modes at the beginning of combat. There's no end to them. <laughs> Sup, Flemeth? You look almost the same. Oh, I love that line. What really happened. Does that not match the story you've heard, Seeker? Oh, Beric. I'm not interested in stories. You are such a troll. I to hear the truth. <laughs> what makes you think I know? <laughs> Don't lie to me. You knew her even before she became the champion. Even if I did, I don't know where she is now. 
do you have any idea what's at stake here? Let me guess. Your precious chantries fall into pieces and put the entire world on the brink of war. And you need the one person who could help you put it back together. The champion was at the heart of it when it all began. If you can't point me to her, tell me everything you know. You aren't worried I'll just make it up as I go? Not at all. You'll need to hear the whole story. Crafty Dwarf Man. Alright, I think this is character creation time. Alright guys, I warn you that I take forever on this shit, so I'm thinking I should probably stop recording before I do this, just in case I run out of room.